kids were doing. It looked like they had something kind of like a circle with a stick and they were looking around. You guys, do you know what they were doing? That's called observation. And so we saw that they were what? They were observing the trees and they were observing the grass and they were observing things on the table, right? So they were using this little tool to observe things all around them, you guys. And so in this class today, we're gonna practice our observational skills, okay? So if you guys notice here in the board, we see that the teacher wrote observational skills, okay? But you guys, how do we practice these skills? So we have five senses, say with me, five senses. Great job, do you guys know what they are? No, you need help, okay. So we have the first one, which is the sense of our hands. And so with our hands, we can what? We can feel things, everybody touching. Every, let me see, let me see your hands. And we're going to touch. So we use our hands to touch. Say it with me. I use my hands to touch. Great job, you guys, okay? And then the next one that we have, do you guys know what it is? Mm, guess what? Is the sense of smell. So we use our nose. This is my nose. Where's your nose? Everybody find your nose. Great job. And we use our nose to smell. I'm going to grab a candle, you guys, and look. I can put my nose close it. Mmm, delicious, right? So I'm smelling the candle with my nose. So everybody say it with me. I use my nose to smell. Great job, you guys. And what's the next one? Let me see who knows. The next one is the sense of taste. So I use my mouth to taste, but let me show you guys. Because I know with Teacher Monica, you guys are talking about what? Eating healthy. So I brought this pear. It's a delicious pear, but you guys, do I just look at the pear? No. Do I just feel the pear? Mm -mm. I can use my mouth, guess what? To taste the pear. So, mmm, mmm, delicious, right? I'm sorry I can't share with you guys. And the next one that we have, you guys, guess what? It's our sense of hearing. And so every time that the teacher says, are you guys listening? Right, what are we using? Our, our what? Just one ear. Mm -mm. We should be using two ears. So here we have two ears that God gave us and we use our ears to what? To hear the things around us, right? To listen. So say with me. I have ears to what? To hear. And so we can hear music. Jump, 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 right? Or we can hear when mom and dad are talking to us and they say, mijo, come over here. We have to be listening. Okay, but we still have more, you guys. I have something that I use my eyes for and we call this sight. So what do we call it? We call it sight. So I use my sight to, to see, to see all around me. Let me see, look. My eyes are opening, opening, opening to see. And look, I have this beautiful plant. And so let's use our eyes to look, look, look. Can you guys see? I'm gonna look at this beautiful plant with my eyes. So I want everybody to say with me, I have eyes to see. So great job you guys, those are our five senses. So what do we remember? I have hands to feel, great job. I have a nose to smell, great job. I have a mouth to taste, mm -hmm. I have what? I have ears to hear and listen, mm-hmm. And what was the last one? I have eyes to see. So today we're gonna be practicing, okay, using our observational skills, but today we're gonna be listening, okay? We're gonna be using our ears to listen and we're gonna use our eyes to see, okay? And so I'm gonna show you guys really quick because today we're going over three letters. How many letters? Can you guys help me count my fingers? So I have one, two, and three. But what are they teaching? Great question. So let's go here behind me, you guys, and we're gonna notice that we have our three letters. So we're gonna go over each one. And so the first one, who remember this letter? Has anybody seen it before? It's in the word mom, in the word Monday, in the word March and May, right? And this is a letter, everybody say it with me, M, what, right? So say it with me, M. So let's make that sound, put our lips together and say M. Oh, great job. So we have the letter M, capital M and small case M. Next we have the letter 
N. And we notice that with this one, our mouth butt opens a little bit more, and we can see our tongue, and we say N. Aha, uh -huh, great job. So we have capital N, small case N, and the left letter is a letter that we can make with our fingers. It kind of looks like a circle, you guys. And it is the letter O. So say with me, O. So here we have the capital O and the small case O. But you guys, before we continue, did you guys already say goodbye to June? Because June said what? June said that he had to go. Look, he's saying, bye class, I had to go because guess who's coming next? We see here that the month of July is next. And so let's listen to that word. It says July. So J. Ah, that's the sound of the letter J. So the beginning letter of July is the letter J. I'm going to circle it just this time for you guys to see it. And so we have J U L Y. J U L Y. That's July. So it's our new month. And we know that today is a Tuesday. Mm -mm. That was the last class, right? Is it Wednesday? No, that was yesterday. What day is today? Today is what? Thursday the 2nd. So we're going to write that together. You guys are going to help me. Are you ready? So here I'm going to write today is, oh, let me change the color. I was going to write in red. So today is July 2nd, 2020. Great job. And for the weather, you guys know that you're in charge, so I don't have to worry about it. You guys are going to tell me, teacher, today is a day. So looking at the forecast really quick, observing again with our eyes, and guess what? You guys can check and see. Is it a cloudy day? Is it a rainy day? Is it a windy day? I don't know. So you guys are gonna tell me, okay? So moving on, we know that what? That the topic of the day are the letters M, N, and O, and that we're using our observational skills. We remember that we can use what? Our hands, okay? To clap if the teacher tells you to clap we can use our eyes to see and most importantly let's use our ears to listen okay so the first letter that we have you guys is the letter what did I say the letter mm, M so say with me mm, M so that's the sound that M makes you guys but the letter M reminds me of something and I'm gonna put it here and you guys get to help so the letter M reminds me of something that is the color brown. He has like funny ears. He has this long tail. I don't have a tail, but he has a long tail, you guys. And he makes this sound that's really funny. He goes, what do you guys think that that is? Ah, the monkey, great job. So the letter M is for monkey, and we're gonna see a short video about the monkey. Check this out. So great job you guys, did we learn something new about monkeys? Yeah, right, pretty cool. So now the next letter that we have you guys is the letter N, right? And so we know that N is for the name Nancy, for nice, but we also know that the letter N is for something else. Are you guys ready? Are you sure? So the letter N is also for something pretty cool. And so I'm gonna put it here and let me see if you guys can guess. So when I look out in the trees, you guys, sometimes there's something kind of like this that birds put on the tree. And sometimes when they're moms, guess what? They put little eggs inside. Do you guys know what that's called? It's called a nest. So let's see a short video about different nests. Well, you guys, we saw that what? That the nests, some are high, some are low. Guess what? Some are small, some are bigger. And that the eggs are all over the baby eggs the same color. No, right? We saw some eggs that are white, 
some that are blue, some that are kind of yellow, right? Uh-huh. So those are our nests for the letter N. But the last letter that we have is the letter what? The letter O. So I want you guys looking at this really cool O. And you guys, the O reminds us of another animal. But I don't know if you've ever gone to the zoo. Do you guys know what a zoo is? A zoo is a place where we visit different animals. And so this animal, we can see it, it's kind of a big bird. It's not a small bird, it's a big bird that has what? Long legs, wow, the teacher can't put up her legs. Maybe this one, oh, long legs, uh-huh. So this bird has long legs and it runs, guess what? Does it run slow like this? Whoa, no, this bird runs really fast, whoa, whoa, whoa. And guess what, it has a pretty cool beak that goes into the ground and he sticks his head in the ground and he goes, chup, 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 chup and then he comes back up. But you guys are saying, teacher, but what's the name of the bird? Okay, I'll tell you. So, because we're working with the letter O, this bird is called an ostrich. Say with me, ostrich. Great job. So we're gonna see a short video so you guys can what, learn a little bit more about the ostrich. Rise and shine. Time to go to school. Well, I'm tired, Mom. It's so bright out here. I want to go back and lay egg. We may be ostriches, but we do not have time to stick our heads in the sand. Ugh, fine. Oh, so sleepy. Brr, it's cold out here. Can't I get five more minutes of my egg, Mommy? Oh. You'll feel better once you've had some breakfast. Let's get everyone else up. Come on, everybody, wake up. Ugh, I'm so tired. I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up, Bobby. Ugh. How does she have so much energy in the morning? All right, everybody, let's see. One, two, three, I think that's everybody. Oh, wait a second, three of you are still in your eggs. Wake up, we have to get to school. Hatch already. Wasn't that super cool, you guys? So we learned something new about monkeys, right? We saw, we learned about the, oh, oh, the monkeys with the letter M. We learned about the different nests for the letter N. And we learned about the ostrich. But guess what? Our book, our everyday English book, shows us a few more pictures of things that begin with the letters M and an O. So I put these pictures together on this piece of paper. So you guys are gonna what? Observe with your nose. Mm -mm. We're not gonna smell it. We have to look and see. So we're gonna observe with our eyes. And guess what? We're gonna practice saying the name of each of the words. So listening closely to the beginning letter, we're gonna remember that M has a sound Mm, N has a sound, mm, and O has a sound. It can be O, okay, because it's a vowel, or it can be A. Uh. So get ready to listen to these beginning letters, okay? So the first picture that we see is a picture of a mouse. Great job, so mm, mouse, that's the letter M. Next we see what? Milk, delicious for our cereal. So mm, milk, great job. Next we have the you guys guessed that one, right? The monkey, because we just finished seeing it. Next we have mittens that we put on our hands when we're cold. Great job. Next we have an orange. So orange, remember this is a different sound, the sound of O. So we have the orange. And next we have the octopus, right? So this one we open up a little more. So O for octopus. Next we have the onion, right? So mom and dad can use this to cook delicious food. So we have the onion. And next we see the ostrich. So we just learned about the ostrich, right? That it's a pretty cool bird. Next we see the net. So we can use the net to catch a butterfly, to catch a fish, right? Or just to kind of swing it in the air, uh-huh. So we have the net, and that's the sound of n net, the letter N. Next we see the nose, and everybody has a nose, and we use it to, to look, to listen. Uh-uh, you guys. We use our nose to smell. Great job. Next we have a nut. Oh, and guess what? Some people are allergic to this, and if they eat it, guess what? They start to scratch, scratch, scratch. So we have to be careful, okay? So we have the wonderful nut. And the last thing we remember this is the nest, right? And this nest, what do we see inside? It has eggs inside the nest. You guys are going to help me sort it by which ones are animals and you guys are going to help me sort it by which ones are things that we can eat. So food. All right, so working together, let's see. Monkey is an animal. Mouse is an animal. Milk is food. 
mittens are neither. A nest has eggs, which is food. A nut is food. A nose is neither. A net is neither. An ostrich is an animal. Onion is food. An octopus is an animal. An orange is food. All right, you guys, great job. You guys did so awesome today. So just to review, we learned the letters, what? M, N, and O. We learned their sounds. We know that M is M, N is N, and O is O or O, right? Depending on the word. And we learned what? About different words that begin with each of these letters. We learned some that are animals, some that are foods, and some that are other. So I'm gonna send your mom and daddy your activity for today so that you guys can practice at home. So great job, you guys. Thank you so much for listening closely, for paying attention, and guess what? Just for being you. So this teacher loves you guys so, so much. So sending you a kiss, a hug, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.